Today, I'll be turning that into that. First things first, you need to cut out some templates. Um, this one's one of mine. I like to call it the fallopian for obvious reasons. And as you can see here, basically I used a coffee cup to get the arch and just drew around the rest. Or you can go online, if you just go into Google and type in catapult templates, there's loads there that you can just cut out. And uh, yeah, they're good to go. Now what I tend to do, say for example this one, I'll draw around that and then adapt it to fit how I like it, like a round handle, etc. So from there, it's a case of get your 18 mil ply, put your template on and draw around it. Doesn't need to be perfect because you can alter this when you're actually making the thing. I've got to say, I was really happy with how this uh, fallopian turned out. I took it out thinking, because it looked massive and you can hold it as a hammer grip. And uh, it shot remarkably well, straight off the bat. Oh. So, there you have it, on there. Um, now, in true Blue Peter style, I've already marked out a load on here, so I'm just gonna cut those ones out. But yeah, it's that simple. As you can see here, these smaller ones are, as I said, based off that sort of diameter, made a little bit bigger, and I've made the handles round for a nice, decent palm fit. Anyway, I'll take these outside now and start cutting. Because it's loud, it's just me using a saw. Cue some music. So that's the rough pattern of one. Now what I'm gonna do is take it inside, I'm gonna get my sander out, I'm gonna mark off where I need to um, put the indentations for my thumb and my finger, smooth off all the edges, make it nice and square or round in this case, and give it a good sanding. Let's go and have a look. So what I'm gonna do here is at 45 degrees, I'm gonna go right the way around the edges, bring it to back within the line, and then I'm going to smooth off and round it off all the way around. I'm going to put a bit of sandpaper in there to sort that out. Obviously I'm going to smooth all of this out. Once again, round the edges off. Same with the tops, sides, etc, etc. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a deep well in here and in here and round off the edges just so my hands fit nice and comfortably without getting cut up by a sharp angle. That was almost English, wasn't it?
So I've got the rough size and shape of it now. Finger grips are pretty much spot on and comfy. Just gonna give it a once over with some sandpaper, take away any sharp edges. Then I'm gonna oil it and I'm gonna band her up and see what she looks like. To, uh, get with the Dremel, so I'll get back on that in a moment. misshapen and stuff like that. That is done so that I can get a good firm grip on it and it's comfy from the front. Personally I don't give a monkey's what that end looks like because anything that's looking at that end is getting shot in the face or, or the target. So all I'm going to do now, I've stolen <laughs> some of my wife's uh, saddle oil and I'm going to coat all that. You can use anything, people varnish them, people make them a lot smoother, blah blah blah. Anyone that's watched my channel before will know that as long as it works, I don't really give a monkey's how it looks. Um, so yeah, that is strong enough. It's definitely comfortable enough and it will take the band sets I want to put on. So just gonna cover this in oil. This will treat it from when it gets wet and stuff like that. People give it many, many coats. Generally, I only douse it once, give it half an hour out, dry off, band it up and have a crack. Get right in all the bits that you've cut.
Now you can take your time obviously and sand this properly and you can have them, like Gamekeeper's John's um, cat holes, they look absolutely perfect every single time. Um, he's a proper craftsman when it comes to it. I ain't. Generally, I used to do this all with a jigsaw and they still work just as well. But I saw that um, fret saw out there going for a song on my local selling site. So I picked it up and yeah, it's definitely a lot quicker. So, as you can see now, that is good to go. These areas here, I've cut these out so when I put, you can either string over the top with this or uh, through the forks. So that is strictly there so I can wind my bands around and I'll show you how to do that once this oil's dried. But yeah, one times catapult, that has probably taken me from start to finish 20, 25 minutes. And uh, yeah, I may put a little dimple in here with a file and one up top just for aiming, but there's no real point. I'll uh, let that dry and band her up. Oosh! But if you have a look between that and the frame, it ain't that far off. And I'm a scruffy beggar. That simple. Right, let's get her banded up and fired. Well, it's a really, really windy day here. And I thought, while we were waiting, sorry, just shut me gate. While we were waiting for the uh, oil to dry, the stove I made last night, I thought I'd see how long it takes to boil a single cup of water. The cup is uncovered. I'm in my garden, and as I say, it's blowing a hoolie. So, let's have a butcher's. Right, I'm gonna call it there for an uncovered cup. As you can see, it's been bubbling. And that is 17 and a half minutes. And that is still working. And as you can see, it's all coming out of the jets. Uh, I'm just gonna let that burn out now. Worth noting, it is bloody windy here. I mean, proper windy. There you go, and it's just blown out. But the good thing with them, that's all we need to do to relight them. So yeah, it's a winner. Um, right wind protection. I'll be golden, I reckon, but I think I'll stick to the ones I've already got because that is definitely the worst one I've ever made. Let's go band this catapult up. Time to band up then. I'm going to be, <coughs> pardon me, just clearing my throat, don't panic. I'm going to be rigging this one up through the forks rather than over the top. And what through the forks means is that it goes sideways on like so. So when it's pulled in, it goes through the forks. Over the top, as the name would suggest, means that the bands fire over the top of the catapult. The bands are different, um, depending on how you rig it. I buy mine off of eBay, I get three for about seven, eight quid, I think, ready to go. So what you need to do, the bit that is facing away from you is where the band gets tied to. So you tie that on. A lot of people use the band material. It is actually the offcuts of this. Elastic bands work just as well. I found. So cut that there. Cut that there. forward-facing edge, put your band on, a couple of wraps 
wraps it around there. Make sure it's all square and neat and tidy. Which that isn't. So get a couple of tight wound wraps on there, like so. Have a piece of strong cotton or cord, which I will put over the top so you have a loop. So this is very cack and I'm always sat at the table doing this. Go back around another couple of times. You bugger. Come on. There we go. Then go through the loop with the band. and then pull through that, like so. Now that should hold tight, and you can just cut the excess off as needed. Then what you do, you go to the other side, you make sure that the band is pulling correctly, so it's pulling straight down the middle, nice and even, like that appears to be. Same again. Let's go the other way. Couple of wraps around there. Get your loop. Another couple of wraps. I'm making this look a lot harder than it is. Through the loop. Pull the string. The first couple of times you pull it, obviously don't have it by your face, because that would hurt. Straighten up anything you can straighten up. Cut off the excess. Doing a little bit of tidying up here. And you are good to go. One catapult. Lovely jubbly. And as luck would have it, as soon as I started doing that, kids next door started jumping on their trampoline. So sorry for any noise. I'll um, might go out and have a couple of shots and see how she works. Right, first shot, just to see if it works. I'd say that was a winner, wouldn't you?